Today, I'm going to take you through Arbitrum, which helps to boost Ethereum transaction speeds and should make interacting with the Ethereum blockchain cheaper. For those of you that are familiar with my channel, you'll know that I've previously covered a tutorial around optimism. Well, this is just another layer two alternative for you to check out. So what I thought I'd do today is take you through an overview of Arbitrum before showing you how to bridge your tokens from Ethereum to Arbitrum, then showing you how to swap on the likes of Uniswap. I'll also show you a comparison in the cost between Arbitrum and Ethereum. And for more information, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. Arbitrum is a layer two scaling solution designed to boost Ethereum's transactional throughput and to minimize transaction fees at the same time. It does this using something called transaction rollups to record batches of transactions on the Ethereum main chain and then it executes them on a cheap, scalable layer two sidechain. This process then helps to offload most of the computational and storage burdens from Ethereum. And because of its very efficient rollup technology, Arbitrum can cut your Ethereum fees down to just a fraction of what they would be on the Ethereum mainnet. This will hopefully help those of you that have previously been put off using the Ethereum blockchain due to the high fees. With Arbitrum, you can use a host of Ethereum dApps, including the likes of OneInch, Aave, Curve, SushiSwap and Uniswap. And we'll take a look at the differences between Ethereum and Arbitrum fees shortly, using Uniswap as an example. So let's jump in and take a look. To get started, you'll first need to deposit your Ethereum-based tokens from the Ethereum mainnet across to Arbitrum using a bridge. If you don't already have any Ethereum to get started with, you can purchase it on exchanges such as the likes of Binance, FTX or Huobi, all of which I've got promotional links in the summary below which will help you to reduce your trading fees. To bridge your tokens, you can use their own Arbitrum One bridge which you can find on their site, Arbitrum.io, by choosing to bridge into Arbitrum. Alternatively, you can also reach this by using bridge.arbitrum.io, and you'll automatically be prompted to connect up your wallet. In this example, I'm gonna be using my MetaMask wallet, but you can also use Wallet Connect. And you'll need to make sure that you also have the Arbitrum network set up within your MetaMask wallet. If you don't already have this set up and you need some help, I've got all the information that you need in a blog post, which is linked below and is also available on my website, everybithelps.co.uk. Alternatively, you are also prompted to automatically add the network when you use Arbitrum with the likes of Uniswap, which is the app that we're going to be using later to swap with. And you can just approve from here if you're happy with the details, and you may want to double check these before you go ahead and add them. Then you'll see that within MetaMask, I now have Arbitrum available from the list of networks here. However, at this point, we just need to make sure that we're connected to the Ethereum mainnet so that we can transfer these across to Arbitrum. Plus, you're also going to need to have enough ETH to pay for the gas fees. Once connected, you'll see that there's a warning here letting you know that you'll be using the Arbitrum mainnet, which is still in beta phase, and to be careful and make sure that you read some information here. Now I'm aware of the risks, so I'm going to go ahead. And you can see my balance at the top of the screen, showing as layer one balance, which is my ETH balance from within my MetaMask wallet. And you can select your token from here. In this example, I'm going to be bridging 0.5 ETH on the Ethereum mainnet across to Arbitrum. So if I go ahead and deposit, you'll then get another warning asking you to confirm. And it states here that you're about to deposit ETH from layer one into Arbitrum. And then it takes around 10 minutes for you to see your balance on layer two. It also states that if you wanna move your funds back to layer one Ethereum later, this will take roughly a week. So it's just something to be aware of there. Now I'm happy with all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and deposit where I then just need to confirm that within my connected MetaMask wallet. And it states that the fee will be $14 for this transaction. And you can always edit your fees within MetaMask and use this in conjunction with ETH gas station. However, the gas price does fluctuate and sometimes these transactions can fail 
and cost you money if you choose the wrong gas fee. So just make sure you do your own research before you go ahead and start changing these. And I recently did a similar transaction, bridging my ETH to optimistic Ethereum, and that was going to cost me $72 for one ETH, just as a comparison. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm the transaction now. And you'll see that the transaction is now processing. As I said, that can take up to 10 minutes. If I just now view that over on Etherscan, the transaction took around one minute and it cost me $14. So now that my tokens are finalized bridging on Arbitrum, you can now see the balance of 0.5 ETH appearing in my MetaMask wallet. So let's head across to Uniswap now. If you want to swap your tokens from Arbitrum, first you'll need to make sure that you connect up your wallet. And I've connected my MetaMask wallet here, as that's where my tokens currently are. You'll also need to make sure that Arbitrum is connected from the drop-down list here, where you have the option of Ethereum, Optimism, which I've recently created a tutorial for, and I'll link below. And you've also obviously got Arbitrum. When using Uniswap with Arbitrum, they tell you that to start using it, you'll need to bridge your tokens first, which is what we've just done already anyway. So let's go ahead with the swap now. And I'll first show you over on Arbitrum. Then I'll show you what it would have been had we have used the Ethereum network instead, just to show you a comparison in the gas fees. We're going to be swapping 0.4 ETH on Arbitrum for DAI. So if I click on to swap and confirm, the gas fee here is annoyingly in ETH, which at the time of this recording works out to be about $3, which is pretty minimal. But if I go ahead and confirm this swap, I can then double check over on Etherscan, where you can see the true cost for that transaction was actually $2.52. Now, if I change my network in MetaMask from Arbitrum to the Ethereum mainnet and connect to Uniswap again, with Ethereum now showing at the top of the screen instead, if I try and perform the same swap with 0.4 ETH to DAI, and if I swap and confirm, you'll see that for the same swap, it'll cost me between $30 and $39. So that means although the initial gas fee was about $14 or $15 to bridge my tokens, I've already saved that amount for this swap alone. So that concludes my tutorial now of how you can help to reduce your fees using Arbitrum. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like hit the subscribe button and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks and I'll see you soon.